Hey guys, me here at home in my tiny house, in my tiny kitchen. I am going to bake. So you guys all know how I like to bake fall stuff. Now I did make cookies a few weeks ago and those were really good, but I really wanted to make pumpkin bars with the cream cheese frosting. So I got everything around, all my ingredients and I was all ready to go about an hour ago and I realized I had no vegetable oil. So I had to run back out to the store and I'm super glad that's like five minutes away. So now I have vegetable oil and I've got my stuff ready to go. I'm gonna bake in my tiny kitchen. Cody is not impressed. You like my socks? Hedgehogs. <laughs> Cody wonders what's going on. So, I had run to the store earlier this morning to get this. And I already have my two cups of sugar in there. And I've got my two cups of flour. And I've got my baking soda. Cinnamon, I'll need baking powder. This wonderful, I was not thrilled, but I'm serious. All they have is Clover Valley, so you better not mess my recipe up. My pumpkin. I've got Cody's pumpkin too. And then I have my cream cheese in the fridge because we're gonna make the homemade little uh, cream cheese frosting. You excited for that, bud? <laughs> oh, before I get started, come on, Cody. I was going to tell you guys, today was my second chiropractor appointment with my, I guess he's my new chiropractor in town, Bryson City. Uh, he seemed to help me. I told you guys a few days ago, I'm actually walking a lot better with my leg. I am not to my 100% self, no, but I know I'm on my way there. So, got my second adjustment today. I have to come back within a week, go again just till I kind of get fixed from the Asheville chiropractor. So I am doing better. I am sore after, which is totally normal. This is a totally normal sore. <laughs> and he seems to be helping me. He seems very knowledgeable and he actually listens to me. So hopefully I found a chiropractor. Five minutes from my house is great. And tomorrow I actually have my first dog sitting job here. So. I'm super excited. I met the couple with their dog. I always like to meet first. And yeah, tomorrow I'm doing my first dog sitting job in Bryson City. And I'm super excited because I love dogs. No, Cody cannot go. He will be home. And of course, he's usually good like five, six hours a day. That's about, you know, seven and a half hours is what I would leave him to go to North Face. He was fine. So he's getting spoiled and he's used to going everywhere. He'll have to get over that for tomorrow. But yeah, I am doing better, the chiropractor. So I do have this on <laughs> because you can have, it's good to ice after the chiropractor, not heat today, you know, maybe in a day or two if I need it, I'll use heat. But I love this, whoever got me this, remember? <laughs> This ice pack is wonderful because, see, you can have this. I don't have to worry about holding it up. This thing has been amazing. So whoever got that for me last year, thank you so much. All right. I'm going to get my stuff around. Oh, I got to find my pan first to make sure it's going to fit. All right. I made a mess. Four eggs. Four eggs, we have to beat that. <laughs> My cute, cute little mixer. I think it works better with that on.
next. So my recipe is on the phone. So I have to keep kind of stopping. This hat also is big on top. I don't know, I have to keep doing that. <laughs> and then I'm, okay, I'm positive. We add pumpkin. Uh oh, hold on. Not sure why my camera stand is being wonky, but we have our pumpkin. Okay, had to kind of read up. I uh, got the two cups of flour, and I already added the two teaspoons of baking powder. And then we need one teaspoon of baking soda and then two teaspoons of cinnamon pets you're used to you know blowing things off so got our mixture here dry mix that together good oh you guys I've been wanting to make pumpkin bars for a long time part of the reason I don't is because it's cheaper and easier to just get it already made up but I like to make it so that looks good mix it all good <laughs> easier to do this one-handed because I don't have a stand over here so I'm just gonna add the rest of that in there extract I have to do the well I have to do that bowl right there I won't be able to make my frosting all right got this bowl all cleaned so I have the one cup of softened unsalted butter the cream cheese should have been a little more softened but it is what it is then we're gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla extract and then we're gonna have four cups that we have to mix in of the powdered sugar And two in there. Then we're gonna mix, give this a good mixing. Still mixing. <laughs> two more cups of sugar in there oh my gosh you guys it smells so good in here here's the cream cheese frosting perfect consistency look at my pumpkin bars glad I didn't fill it anymore oh it smells so good in here ah, pumpkin we're gonna put a little bit of this on that it said could do just a little bit and do a little more mixing Finishing up. Mm, had to 
have a taste. Look at the consistency. That is some good cream cheese frosting. And not from a can. Alright, let's see. Oh, I got about two minutes. Yay! So excited. And I can save half of this frosting for when I make the other little pumpkin bars. You guys know the best part. Sorry about the lighting. <laughs> you know you do it too. Don't lie. Okay, it is done. Can't see it the best. It's in there about 27, 28 minutes. Whoops. So we're just going to let this cool on here. And then we're going to add some of the good cream cheese frosting. Oh my gosh, I can hardly wait. Cody, I'm sorry you don't get any. <laughs> You're a good boy. All right, it's finally time. Pumpkin bars are cooled. Got all my cream cheese. Remember, half of this I have to save for my other batch to do. But look how good that looks, you guys. Oh, I wish you could, wish you could come taste it. I need to get more on here. I can't do it with one hand. These look so good. If you guys were my neighbors, I'd share with you. I've been craving these a long time. I'm actually going to go over to my sister's and we don't have, I have my TV, but it doesn't work. Can't get channels yet. So I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna watch the World Series, big baseball fans. We're going to watch World Series on our computer. So that'll be fun. Oh, guess which movie I watched last night. I have Philo, P-H-I-L-O, um, the free app. Well, I have it for a week. So I watched Halloween, the original, my favorite, 1978. And I watched The Shining. I love The Shining. Love it. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top, pumpkin spice. And there it is, you guys. Does that look pretty good? I'm happy with how it turned out. Can't wait to taste it. Let's kind of sprinkle some on top. Why not, huh? Have all this pumpkin spice. That looks pretty good. I am so happy how that turned out. I'm going to cut myself a slice. Did you guys notice my sink is clean? I did all my dishes. I just don't like waking up to all those dishes. It wasn't even that much, but when you're in a tiny house, it fills up fast. Here's the finished product. My pumpkin bars, homemade cream cheese frosting with some pumpkin spice on top. Mm -hmm. oh. I've been waiting a long time for this, guys. Cute plate, silverware. That turned out so good. I wish you guys could come try some. Anyway, that's it for my video. I'm going to head next door, watch a World Series with my sister, finish my pumpkin bars. Till next time, guys. Bye.